Hello again, everyone. Welcome to my pre-war type card collection channel where I show uh, cards that I just recently got into the pre-war collection. And I give a little bit of a, of a breakdown of the type card. And hopefully you gain some knowledge that you can use and possibly even uh, encourage you to go after some pre-war type cards. This is video number 49 in the series. If you like it, hit subscribe and the thumbs up and uh, watch all the other ones and see if you can uh, get some more knowledge and, and, and want to, to collect some pre-war. So this will be a real short um, video just because this is the only one I've gotten in. I'm trying to save some money to go to the national. Uh, it's in about two more months. So I'm trying to save some money, but I could not pass up this uh, this is one of the uh, cards from the Mendelssohn uh, that I've really really wanted and never see you just never ever 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 see one and I saw this one in a uh, in an auction and won it for a really good price never ever ever in my wildest dreams thought I'd ever own one of these but uh, keep at it keep at it and uh, and you'll find you'll find one um, so this is a 1916 Block and Pool Bobby Byrne. As you see, it's an SGC2. Now this is the only Bobby Byrne Black and Pool graded by any company. There's none graded in PSA, CGC, or Beckett. It is a true one of one. SGC has this one as the only graded one on the planet. Um, in fact, total examples from the entire Block and Cool set, PSA is only graded 19 total. Um, Beckett and CGC have never graded a Block and Cool, and SGC has graded 36 of them. So as 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 we all know, SGC does great with their pre-war and pre-war type cards. So uh, the Block and Cool utilize the same pictures and checklists from the uh, M101-4 and M101-5 sets, which are Mendelssohn uh, sets. Uh, they use the, those pictures from the Mendelssohn collection. Block and Cool actually used cards from uh, M101 and 105. The way you can tell the difference is by the number on the front since M101-4 and M101-5 have slightly different checklists, this Bobby Burns is obviously an M101-4 since the number on the front is 24, and Burns was the uh, was nine was number 24 in the M101-4, but he was uh, number 22 in the M101-5. So, so of course, right there is where you'll find your number down at the bottom. Um, they did a recent study and came up with the results for Block and Cool. Uh, there's 120 cards in the Block and Cool set, and it split 80 examples were from the M101-4, and 20 were from the uh, M101-5. So most of them are M101-4, so, uh, but not much is known about this Block and Cool set uh, other than the obvious advertisement for the uh, popular chain store that uh, is based out of Illinois. So let me show you the back. So this was a, a big chain store um, in Peoria, Illinois. Other than that right there, it is a very clean back. If I can get my bald head glare out of there. But again, these are really really scarce again i never thought i'd own one but uh found this one um bobby Byrne was born in st louis and played third base for 10 seasons i think uh, 1907 to 1917 he's mostly used as a uh, he was a good defensive player not much out offense but a really good defense player actually Byrne is most popular for his his son bobby jr bobby jr is one of the most decorated fighter pilots in the u.s military history with a total of six enemy planes shot down over multiple different battles in World War II. He was promoted to captain 
1943. So that's his son, Bobby Jr. Um, he had another son that was really uh, a highly decorated military too. So, so that is my block and cool addition to the collection. I know I didn't tell you a whole heck of a lot about the block and cool, but it's just because there's not much to know about them other than they are horribly rare. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, um, again, click subscribe and thumbs up. This was video 49. Go back and see if you like some of the other videos. Thank you.